Hi everybody, welcome to the Baker Air Guns Quick Look. I'm Donnie Reed, and today we have the brand spanking new Brokock Sniper XR. Now let's face it, if given the choice, most air gunners are going to prefer a side lever to a bolt operation, and I'm one of them. Now Brokock realized this and they now offer their XR series of guns. And this has a side lever as well as a myriad of other improvements over the previous Brokock offerings. In the XR line, you'll find familiar names like Concept, Bantam, Commander, Sniper. And these are all very similar to the earlier versions of those guns, but now they have the improvements of the XR line. The most obvious difference between the XR line and the previous offerings is going to be the side lever. This side lever is very nice. Not all side levers are created the same. But this one is very reminiscent of my Daystate Wolverine R lever meaning that you have a long throw with nothing and then just a little to cock the gun, just that little bit of movement there. It's very nice, and again, very reminiscent of my day state, and that's, that's really saying something. Not so obvious are other improvements, such as a new, highly finished Lothar Walther barrel. This is choked, and it's 17 inches long in this version, 23 inches long in the Magnum versions. You also have a new Huma regulator slash valve slash free flight hammer that operates more efficiently than the previous design. You also get an improved trigger. Uh, this is a two-stage fully adjustable trigger that is superior to the previous trigger in my opinion. What's more is some new bevels on the breech that are just a bit attractive. I don't think they do anything functionally to the gun. And Brokaw is also touting that this is all machined to higher tolerances. And that makes this modular, meaning you can take components from other Brokaw model guns and swap them back and forth between the models. Our test gun is the 177 version. This gun retains the adjustable cheek piece and 2D adjustable butt pad, a lower Picatinny rail to which I've mounted the bipod. This is a nice UTG TBNR bipod. Very nice, especially for its price point. You also still have the stepped power adjuster. The Picatinny rail up top, which is actually an adapter. The breech itself has dovetail rails, but this whole thing is a dovetail to Picatinny adapter. The gun is about 32 inches in overall length, weighs a little over 7 pounds, about 7.2 pounds. Uh, it has a fully shrouded barrel and it is baffled and it also terminates in one half by UNF threading so if you'd like to add a moderator or a stripper or anything you'd like uh, it's very easy anything with a half by 20 threading will screw right on to the shroud. Now, I don't know if you noticed earlier uh, when I showed you the side lever but this gun in 177 is nearly silent. Again almost nothing. Now, I did a decibel reading. I used a decibel meter and my meter with the barrel of the gun about six inches away from the microphone, my highest reading was 58.9 decibels. Now this was out in the middle of a field, nothing around for anything to echo on, but that is truly backyard friendly. Now Brokock advertises 140 shots at 18 foot-pounds in the 177 version, 120 shots at 30 foot-pounds in the 22 version, and 60 shots at 46 foot-pounds in the 25 version. Our version, this 177, exceeded that. I got about 160 shots, a little over 160 shots with multiple strings. Uh, I used the JSB redesigned 13.43 grain monsters. Uh, as you can see in this string, I got like I said, ho over 160 shots. The gun produced just under 20 foot-pounds of muzzle energy on average. 
an extreme spread of 21 feet per second and a standard deviation of 3 feet per second. There seems to be no doubt that the new hammer valve regulator system is working very well. It is very efficient. Uh, the 18, I'm sorry, the 10.3 grain JSBs averaged a little over 18 foot pounds, about 18 and a half on average. Now our modus operandi for testing guns is to leave them in fully stock, out of the box condition, no adjustments at all. We want you to know what you can expect when you pull it out of the box, fill it with air, and put pellets in it. For that reason, we did not touch the trigger. The trigger on this gun, as I said, is improved over previous versions. It is two-stage, it is fully adjustable, and in our testing, averaged just at two pounds out of the box. Now, I have to say, the first stage is very easy, very light. There's a very obvious solid wall, but there is a little creep in the second stage at the factory adjustment. We did not adjust it for the review, however, after the review, I did adjust the trigger. The weight reduced, the creep reduced. It's absolutely fabulous. And I understand why Brokock would choose a conservative adjustment for an out of the box gun. <coughs> <coughs> Lawyers. <coughs> <Let's see ya. coughs> anyway, the trigger is definitely improved over previous versions. Now for everybody's favorite category, accuracy. Is this contraption accurate? Yes, it is. It is very accurate. I use the JSB 10.3 grain exact heavies for my accuracy testing. They turned out to be the most accurate pellet for me. And at 50 yards, an average group was sub MOA, under half of an inch. The one you're going to see here is a five shot 50 yard group. This was just over a quarter of an inch until a flyer. These pellets weren't sorted. It was windy. I'm not making excuses, but I'm telling you, I think this gun is capable of roughly quarter inch groups at 50 yards all day long in optimum conditions with sorted pellets. If you're not sorting your pellets, you might want to start. Now there's no question that the XR line is a major improvement over the previous versions. The previous versions were good guns, don't get me wrong, but these are improved over what was previously offered. The side lever alone makes the gun far more pleasurable to shoot. Everybody likes a side lever, including me. The new highly finished barrel the better trigger, the better valving system. This is all improving the performance of the gun. Uh, it still has the 480cc carbon fiber bottle, and this really is one hell of a package. Now, normally I would tell you the cons of the gun as well as the pros, and they're hard to find with this gun. It's small, it's light, it's easy to handle, the side lever makes it just much more pleasurable, it's handy enough you know you can hunt with it it's not long and obnoxious and catch every branch while you're walking through the woods the only con I can really think of would be the out-of-the-box trigger pull is a little heavy and a little creepy but again it's fully adjustable it took me all of five minutes to turn it into a beautiful trigger I can't really say anything else contrary about the gun now you can find the Sniper XR right here on our BakerAirGuns.com website. I hope this review has been helpful and informative. And you guys stay tuned, stay safe, and happy shooting. Hi, I'm Dennis Baker with Baker Air Guns. Thanks for stopping by. Click the link below.